I am ready to make some granulated maple sugar. The only ingredient needed is pure maple syrup. For the past two years, we have been tapping two maple trees in our backyard, so I am using our own syrup. I have found it is best to make the sugar in small batches. The first time I made sugar, I was trying to bring it to a high temperature boil using instructions I had read somewhere. I used a pint of syrup and burned the entire batch. After recovering from that heartbreak, I tried it again using one half cup of syrup and simmering it on a low temperature while stirring until I got it to the consistency I needed. I did not use a thermometer and it worked like a charm. That is the method I'm going to use now. Start by pouring one half cup of syrup into the pan and turning the burner on to a medium high heat. I will cut most of the video time it takes to start simmering, as it is no more interesting than waiting for water to boil. I'm back now as it is starting to simmer. At this point, I will be stirring pretty consistently and watching the heat. The reason I wanted to make maple sugar to begin with was um, I had just finished making acorn flour at the time and found a recipe for acorn cookies that called for maple sugar. With all the syrup we had from our trees, I wondered if I could make it myself. I found a variety of instructions online. I already told you about the first fail, but I certainly didn't want to give up. This portion of the cooking down took about 13 minutes or so. I'm going to cut a bit of the video out as it is much of the same, but towards the end, I will bring you back so you can see the consistency right before it's finished. I think this is probably a good time to bring you back as, as you can see, it's getting pretty thick and this is the point where it could burn pretty easily. So you really have to watch your temperature, keep stirring, and when it hardens and, and gets pretty dry, it will be done. Right about now, I'm reaching for a plate in the cabinet to um, bring it down and have it ready so I can put the sugar on to cool and dry. As you can see here, it's starting to uh, break up and look like it could be turning into sugar at any moment. If it starts to smell like it's getting a little too hot and starting to burn, or if the sugar looks like it's starting to melt again, pull it off the heat immediately. I'm going to call this done right now and pour it onto a plate. Now you can spread it onto a plate so it can cool and dry. Now that it is cool, we will go on to our finishing step. I'm pouring it into the cup of a magic bullet so we can give it a few quick pulses and break up those hard pieces.
Now it's time to finish up by sifting out some of the larger pieces. Just a side note, those pieces that remain in the sifter, those are candy. Don't throw those away, they're really good. While I had everything out, I decided to make another batch right away. I um, used a cup of syrup this time and it turned out really well, but I still caution you to use small batches. If you try making this, please let me know in the comments below how it turned out. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to the Incidental Prepper channel.